What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Let the beer grow out a little bit. That's my little son. Say what's up. Yeah. Yep. So coming to the house. Guess what I found on the front porch? Good old Tesla audio. I wonder what's in this good old boy. TZ 4K 2. Wait. Ain't no way. No, 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 no. Okay, we gotta open up right now. Come on, son. You're taking too long. I love you. But it might be two amps in this box. I don't know what it is, but we ordered one for the Monte Carlo. And uh, it say two pieces in here. I promise. I promise to God. If it's two, it ain't. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and jump right on into it. So first things first, of course, you have your uh, Tesla manual. Tell you all the good things about the 2K and the 4K in this series. And uh, we'll get into this piece a little bit later on. Let's just go ahead and uh, see what's all on the inside. She looks very beautiful, might I say. Of course, you got your base knob. That right there. All right, guys, so we have it right here. We have the new Tesla Audio TZ 4KD. This comes in a 2K and a 4K. This one does 4,000 RMS at one ohm. And uh, right off the bat, it's just a sexy looking amplifier. It's very classy, very modern, sleek looking. Uh, it also comes with uh, two plates. And the reason it comes with two plates is if you like the black and green, you can keep this green. If you wanna just black out the amplifier, you can use this as well. Just take out the set screws and put those right there. But the big reason, or another one of the big reasons why they give you two is because if we flip this amplifier on the back, look what you got right there. So we have a acrylic window on the back of the amplifier so you can see these beautiful amp guts. You can look at all the, the caps, transistors, and everything like that. It has all these lines in between for ventilation. Also has a built-in fan. But if you wanted to reverse mount this, you can put this back here and then drill you some holes, put your set screws right there, and you can put your logo on the back, whether it's the green one or the black one. Real quick, I almost forgot. Another reason why we give you this second one right here, let's say you got, let's say you drive a red car and you wanna have the red LEDs on that side and you want your plate to be red, this is the one that you would actually get powder coated, painted, hydro dip, whatever you wanna do, put whatever kind of vinyl graphing on it. This is what, this is yours. Mess it up, do whatever you wanna do, customize it, draw on it if you want to. It's yours to do so. You get both of them with the amp and it's just easy for y'all to go ahead and customize it however you want, you feel me? Now, for those who are wondering, these are Korean boards, so you know they're gonna give you a more stable power supply. And I just like the acrylic background on the, I mean, the acrylic casing that they have on the back of this amplifier. It has these slits right here for the uh, ventilation. Also has a built-in fan right here. And I know you guys see that strip in the back. Yes, those are RGB lights. So one thing I wanna let you guys know about the RGB lights is that these are 24 volt lights. You're probably thinking, why would you put that when we're usually running a 12 volt system? Well, the 24 volt lights for one is gonna be brighter. And for two, for people who are gonna compete using these amplifiers that are running 16, 18 volt systems, it won't hurt the lights if you hook them up regularly on your 16 or 18 volt system. But if you are running the 12 volt system, then we suggest that you guys use either a 24 volt uh, RGB controller or you get a 12 volt step down, which will actually take 12 volts in and 24 volts out to the controller. That way you can uh, control these. And uh, if you guys need a link to that uh that little piece that i'm talking about just let me know and we'll be able to send you guys that out also if you're ordering the amp and you want that with it just say you want it and then we'll make sure we get that included in the price with for you um also one last thing about the rgbs now red and green those don't draw near as much current as the blue so if you just want to do solid colors as far as just the red or just the green then you can run that on 12 volts and not have to worry about it but if you want to do all of them rgb create different colors and stuff like that to showcase and light up all the insides on this beautiful korean board then we definitely advise that you get that uh get those controllers so now we're just going to flip this thing right on over and look at this side of the amplifier now it does have zero 
zero gauge uh, in inputs for your power and ground uh, 18 gauge remote uh, maybe 16 to 14 but your remote wire of course goes in the middle this right here is for your RGB hookup you have your 12 volts and then you have your negative for your red green and your blue so now let's look at the other side of the amplifier now at first glance of course it doesn't look like anything too special but I do want to point out a couple different things now of course you're going to have your bass boost LPF low pass frequency your sub sonic filter and your gains but I do want you guys to notice this thing right here so this is not your regular gain it actually has indented pots so when we twist this it's just like using a ratchet because there's individual clicks in between the gains we do this so you can be more precise with your gain setting and your uh frequency setting so of course you can turn it like that but i don't know if you hear that but it's just like a ratchet it's tick 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 you can probably see it like that i think that's a very cool feature and uh one more thing with these uh, RCAs, you ever went into an amplifier and then they have the RCAs kind of recessed inside the amp, but then when you put your jack in, it kind of wobbles. So these are actually Tiffany style RCAs that's bolted to the heat sinks. So that way, you know what I'm saying, you just get a better, a, a better connection. So not only does this Tesla amp look good, it gives you multiple options with these plates. It has the clear backing, you can light it up, you don't have to buy another set of RGBs because it comes with it. And not only does it have the Tiffany style RCAs, the indented plots to where it's easy for you to actually set your gains. We have it on the base knob as well. But the number, the number one thing that I want to talk about with this amp is this new technology called RBVI. It stands for Rollback Voltage Input. So basically what that means is you could be setting your gains and for that guy who wants to just all knobs to the right, this amplifier will actually roll back your signal to where it doesn't clip more than 20%. So yes, this amplifier will not let you F it up because you don't know how to tune it. I'm just being funny, but on the serious note, that's a really good feature because it will roll itself back to where it doesn't clip no more than 20%. This also helps when you uh, when you start seeing voltage drop in your system. That way you don't blow any uh, woofers by sending it a distorted signal. So that's awesome, man. I just think that's a very good feature with this amplifier. All right, y'all, we're going to end it off right with some RGB shots. If you guys want any one of these 2K or 4K amp, please hit up your nearest Tesla dealer. If you don't have one in your area, please hit me up, and we'll see about getting these things out to you. Until next time, this is your boy JP's Audio 08 signing out. Peace. Tesla for the win, baby.